All right, how are you guys doing? For you. Okay, thank you, Sarah, for interrupting me. But hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. We just got done with the whole kidnapping situation. I'm now looking at my stats and said I ranked up, which is good. I even got a new move. And we met Osborne, we met the Crown Prince. Uh, all that's left is to actually meet the actual king around here. Um, but yeah, we're heading back home. Probably gonna run around and do some more errands, most likely. But let's see what happens. And if you guys like this video, this series, then please don't hesitate to give that a big fat like. And let's dive on in, shall we? I ain't getting no extra credit. I'm still pissed off about that. And I got a B. Only a B for missing one mission. Mid-August. <laughs> it was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before the school year resumed. Hey, how about two weeks? Why only five days? Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. Dang. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. Oh, that's bull. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes 1 and 2 spent summer away from Trista. Meanwhile, classes three through five were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. Man, I would be complaining. I'd be like, nah, this is bull. How come they get to leave? The other members of class seven and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students. Oh, so no voices now. Okay. Uh, it's so hot. I'm dying in here. I'm sick of this heat already. Talking about it just making me feel any hotter. The academy should install an orbital air conditioner. At least then it'll be a little easier to cook. Y'all don't have air conditioners in your school? As fancy as it is? An orbital air conditioner? What is it? Well, it's this device that blows out cool air to help regulate a room's temperature. Maybe it will help you think of it as the opposite of a stove. Wow, that's some kind of wizardry. I've heard of them, but aren't they supposed to be prohibitively expensive? Only the most modern buildings seem to be able to afford them. Do you have one in your house? Well, there's one in the room for company's corporate headquarters, yeah. It'd be nice if my mother could spare one, you know, for the academy she sits on the board directors for. <laughs> Seems a bit much to hope for. This is the military academy, so I doubt we can expect to be indulged quite that much. Yeah. They're gonna say, suck it up, cupcake. Still, a machine that helps us cool in the summer? Whoever first invented that should get a medal. I'll admit, the summer heat here is more difficult to cool within the Legram. But as long as I think of it as another part of my training, it doesn't bother me all that much. Barhead gets similar to some heat waves, and there's usually a breeze blowing from the canyon at this time of year that does make summers a bit easier to manage. My hometown's up in the mountains, so it's pretty cool even around this time of year. Yeah, it's pretty cold up there. Actually, now that you mention it, I would have thought you three would go back home for the summer, being nobles and all. You were given permission, weren't you? <laughs> Everyone else was going home, I would have considered it. But in the end, I decided against it. I mean, it wasn't all that long ago. I got to see Elise. Maybe next year. I came here to train. Until I feel like I've made significant progress, I have no intention of returning home. Ha! Huh. Some of you saw my father's mansion. Do you think I'd go back to that place like that willingly? Yeah, he's like, I ain't going home. Not after that bullshit that happened last time. 
I might try to stay here and take my chances with the heat stroke. Damn. You're really uncomfortable at home, huh? Still, hot as it is, there's a lot going on right now. I tell all the people headed to the conference at the end of the month to have much time to be worrying about the heat. You make a good point. You're talking about the West Zermona Trade Conference, right? That's the one. There's never been an international conference on that scale before, at least not in modern times. Mayor Deere Cross, who also happens to be the International Bank of Crossbell CEO, was the one who first proposed it. I've heard that Prince Oliver will be attending on the behalf of His Majesty Ever. Does this dude do anything? I keep hearing about the Emperor, but it doesn't sound like the Emperor does anything. Like, it's always Prince Oliver that's like moving and going everywhere on the Emperor's behalf. Like, is is this man sick? Is he in a wheelchair? Is he dead? Like, is he just lounging around? Like, what, what does this man do? And Chancellor Osborne is supposed to be attending too. And they're like, huh, what a combo. Seems crazy to think we, we met both in just a few weeks ago. The Chancellor in particular was a pretty intimidating figure. Seemed like a big scary monster. I've heard he served in the Imperial Army before committing the, uh, bleh, before becoming a politician. Though 11 years ago, his majesty entrusted him with the position of Chancellor. Supposedly, a full 70% of the Imperial Army is under his jurisdiction. His real fame comes from establishing most of the nation's railway network, centered on the railway. Though he's also been responsible for annexing several smaller countries and in independent states around Arabonia. I believe those are all took place without any bloodshed though, at least as far as I'm aware. Hmm, I wouldn't put too much stock in what he's really selling. Military spending in this country has increased exponentially since he took up his position as Chancellor. And that's only possible thanks to the tax revenue he gleans from the people of Helmdar and those annexed nations. Well, he was the one who ordered the construction of those two railroad guns they've got pointed at crossbow to. Yeah. I would be so... I would be so afraid to live in that freaking city if I knew those big guns were, like were literally pointing at my home like that. I would be like, nah, we gotta move. Those guns can malfunction, someone could be playing around with the fire button, and then next thing you know, I cease to exist. Like, nah, I wouldn't even live there. Ebona was on the verge of full-scale world with Calvard because of those things. Oh yeah, I heard that it actually that bleh, that it was actually the liberal that proposed a way to avoid an armed conflict. They ended up signing up the non-aggression pet, right? Yeah, though as I'm sure you've noticed, there's still quite a bit of tension between the two countries. I wouldn't be surprised if the issue reared its head again during the trade. Yeah, they probably will debate about it. Chancellor Osborne's really a really popular figure in the capital though. Popular enough that he seems to have a group of terrorists after him. He does seem to be the Imperial Liberation Front's main target, doesn't he? You know, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator and all that. Indeed, they seem to be harbor a deep say grudge against him. Their anger seemed a bit unusual in his intensity, didn't it? It does seem like it does seem like the type who would make a lot of enemies, especially with a face like that. Well, I'd rather not speak ill of my father's close ally, but Come to think of it, isn't the instructor awfully late? It's well past time for Herman to start. True, it should, it, it should have started about 10 minutes ago, actually. I swear, that woman. She better not be sleeping off another hangover back at the dormitory. Wouldn't put it past her. I wish I could say there's no way our upstanding instructor would do that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me, I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. Wow. <laughs> instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. Oh, here we go. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. What? A transfer student at this time of year? S seriously? All right, come on in. Righto. 
What? Huh? Crow? But, but isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. The music. <laughs> you can just tell, like, what is happening. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of Class 7. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. What? What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. Oh, God. I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. Then oh, he came like... crying to me in a panic, like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah. They're not gonna let me graduate. So as a special exception, he's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. <laughs> That's literally how everyone feels right now. It's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Is someone else coming Wait, in? Is there someone else too? Huh? Are you serious? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. Ugh, I thought you forgot I was out in the hall. <gasps> ah! <laughs> what? What? You must be joking. He like he's like, oh God, why? Hey, aren't you? You're the girl we met in the Nord Highland. Yuppers! Long time no see, guys! But I see a couple of you I don't know, so I guess I better introduce myself. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. <laughs> and this here is Eric Gatlam. But we'll just call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's gonna get chewed out for it. <laughs> Can you just imagine he just flies through the ceiling and you just look up like, huh? Well, that happened. Instructor, you blew through the ceiling again. Can we just make a sunroof? Boo! Fine. <laughs> anyway. He's gotta do a whole dance and everything. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding. I really wish I could. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. Three days went by. At first, no one was sure what to make of Crow Armbus and the intense division agent Milim Oron. Sudden appearance in the class seven, but within a matter of days, it's almost felt like they'd been there all along. I'm sure none of you need to be reminded that none other than Emperor Dreckles, who ended the War of the Lions, but did you know that historical residents tell us he had amazing few soldiers under his command? 
All right, we have to pay attention because he may ask us a question. Initially, his allies numbered only a few confidants and several warriors from north. And while supporters rallied him in each re region, his ranks still couldn't hope to compare to the other prince's armies. Nonetheless, they continued to advance, liberating region after region, and after a year of bloody battles, Prince Jekyll met perhaps his most well-known supporter. William, right? What do you happen to know the historical figure who I'm referring to? Len Sandla, also known as Lent Maiden. Oh, Red, you are well done. Sandla was the daughter of a count who ruled over the remote region. Accounts tell us she showed great martial skill from a young age. He's sleeping in the back, like, look at this. In particular, her skill with the lance was unparalleled. No records exist of her ever being vested in combat. The Lance Maiden also had a group of mighty warriors under her command who fought alongside her in battle. Perhaps you'd like to illuminate us as to the name of this famous band, Reen. I don't know, because you didn't say it. Oh, jeez. The group of mighty warriors led by the Lance Maiden. That's the... I don't know. You never said it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna have to make a very educated guess. Okay. Maybe this? Okay, so it's not this one. Really? Their Iron Rider, also known as the Iron Knights. How was I supposed to know the answer? They were a band of knights said to be able to charge across the battlefield like lightning, cutting down all, all in their path. Correct, you've done your homework. The wandering prince met the Lance Maiden one day during a prolonged conflict in a remote region of the country. After recognizing each other as reliable and trusting, they pledged to fight together under a united banner. With the Lance Maiden and her knights bolstering his ranks, Draco's army swept through one region after another. In just a year, he was able to defeat the other princes and free the imperial capital, Heimdall. As an interesting footnote, the castle of Ants Rider used, used as her base of operations 250 years ago. This so happens to be the only a hop, skip, and jump away from Laura's home in the ground. Indeed, it's known as the Lagrin Castle. It's a beautiful old building situated on the shore of Lake Embol to the west of the ground. Oh, you mentioned that before. Does anyone live there now? No, due to the dangerous terrain there, no one gets near it. These days, it exists simply as a relic by bygone age. The Astrin family is responsible for the care and maintenance of the, of the castle, though really only known work is done. Speaking of the Astrin house, was it one of your answers to Emperor's second in command? Indeed, the Lensman is most trusted, assistant, and confident from what I understand. The Senlot family line ended with the death of the Lance Maiden. And it's partly because of that the Arsene family mourns her death each ne each year. I see. Oh, what a fascinating story. But Grandma, I never had a mission there, so I've never been able to go. Maybe I should have stopped by when I went to Barnhart a while back. You think she at least tried to conceal the fact that she's sent all over the country on secret missions? I know, she's totally just let it slip that she was doing something in Barhar too. Well, I suppose it's better than her being all distant cagey around us. Okay, so tomorrow's a free day, which means that next Wednesday you'll have your usual practical exam. You better all bring your A game. Oh, Millie Crow? A few must-have instructional materials you guys are going to need as part of Class 7 finally showed up. I'll hand that stuff off to you once we're done here, so I want you to come with me to the f uh, faculty lounge. Righto! Man, what a drag. I mean, you're, you're literally about to fail again because all you did was sleep in class. Alright, hormones out for the day. Flee! Flee while you can! Marcus, would you do the honors? Yes, instructor. All rise, bow.
So, what do you think? Well, I don't think we have to be on our guard around her at least, same. Though I'd rather she kept that giant silver thing of hers hidden. I don't think she's a bad girl. I was taking a nap at the quarry yesterday and she came and fell asleep next to me. What does that have to do with whether or not she's trustworthy? <laughs> they look like a couple of kittens all curled up together. Haha, <laughs> the persons may be worlds apart, but they're both rather cat-like in their own ways. She can't be more than 12 or 13, still practically a child. Yeah, you're right. She's so chip all the time that it's hard to really to be cold towards her. Yeah, I think I could bring myself to spurn her. She's got this natural charm, I think. Be that as it may, her presence here reeks of blood and iron if you take my meaning. Well, it certainly seems that way. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. Oh, that's what he was up to. He was planning on sending one of his agents over. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. It's hard to believe a girl like her could be an agent of the intelligence division, but just going off what happened in Nora, there's not much that would happen would make me doubt it now. And then there's that thing, Argumental Lamb, that's always with her. She calls it Lammy, but aside from its name, we don't really know anything about it. It's, it seems to be made from some strange material, but both metallic and chromatic materials, hard but pliable. Agreed. It doesn't look like anything you could make even with the most cutting edge orbital technology. When I touched it, it felt really nice and cold. Wow, you actually touched it? It hasn't escaped my nose that it seems strikingly similar to the combat shows we fight in our practical exams. I think it's safe to assume that they share some kind of common origin. Yeah. The instructor said that she was forced to accept it, though in a sense Muno was forced on us too. Hmm. You're welcome to think what you will, but I don't trust her. Either way, she's technically our classmate now, like it or not. It may be a little early to tell whether we can trust her as a friend, but we should be able to figure out pretty quickly whether we can count her as a member of Class 7. Ah. Well, that's a lot of way of breaking it down, at least. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. It's still pretty early to make sweeping judgments. Knowing her background would be great, but, w but what's really important is whether we can count on her in a fight. Agreed. As students of military academy, that's probably the most important issue. We'll have to wait and see. Hehe. <laughs> Well, considering we're living in the same dormitory, it'd be good if we all, we all got- Man, you guys are talking a lot. Like, I get it. You don't trust them, but you trust them at the same time. I get it. Just, let's continue on with our day here. Yeah, I wouldn't want her to think we're trying to make her feel unwelcome or either. And then there's Crow. What's he like, Reen? Seems like you get along pretty well. I don't know if I'd put it quite like that. If I had to say, I'd describe him as a crobaceous gambling addict, way too prone to ant up for every hand. Um, Arius, help us. <sighs> he sounds like the kind of miscreant one would be better off avoiding. You can count on him when the chips are all down, though. You really helped me out last month when Elise went to the old sc sc uh, schoolhouse. He's good in a fight and pretty handy with his Arcus, too. Hmm. Maybe we're worrying over nothing then. Still, I'm not really sure how to connect with him, you know? <sighs> well, at least we're in a separate dorm for the time being. We'll just have to see how things go. Finally! Jeez, that was so long! I was like, are you guys ever gonna stop talking? Oh no, there's more talking! Uh, Hello. My throat! Reen Schwarzer speaking. Okay, they have voices. Never mind. Thank you. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Millium. Why can't Millium get her notebook herself? Sure thing. I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? That'd be great. Thanks. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late. All right, so we're going to head over to the student council room. All right. Teleport powers activate. <laughs> <laughs> 
And we're back. Well, Tilla said she wanted to come to student council room. Nah. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Reen. Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right, I'll be sure to pass this on to Milliam next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm. All I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. They can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class player, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Well, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Pro not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his Class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Cohen in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? <laughs> Voluntarily? Of his own free will? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13 year old girl. Yeah, I get what you mean. So she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me then. Bet money, it's Sarah. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. How did I know? How did I know? Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? Lie. As much as it pains me to say it, I am. Why? Why did you tell the truth? <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid her repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of class. Wait a second, when did I become the... 
because you've been leading people automatically. Plus, you're the protagonist. Of course, you're the leader. <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. All right, I guess I better start looking for Milliam. But where did I even start? She could be almost anywhere. I should probably ask a couple of others for help. I don't accomplish much just checking places at random. Come to think of it, I haven't gotten Crow's number yet either. I think two other students would be enough for this. Though I should remember to ask him when I get the chance. Oh, what? We have to bring other members? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna bring you. And I'm also gonna bring. Because you're long range. You're short range. And I'm also gonna bring you. Because we haven't got to fight with you a lot lately, so. Yeah. How am I like the. Oh, I'm like. One of the lower levels. Good guy. It doesn't seem wise to leave her on her own. I suppose setting like this must be pretty novel to her. Perhaps she's walking around taking the sights. Yeah, I think you're right. I know she's left the academy grounds yet, though, so we should be able to find her. I would just have to think, if I were new here, what would seem the most interesting? Then check all those places. The schoolhouse. The schoolhouse. Let's find her and bring her back to the dorm then. If I was new here and I saw everything about it, but except for one path here, I would immediately go to the schoolhouse. Just like, oh, where does this lead to? Oh, it leads off the grounds into the forest. I wonder where. And there's just no music here whatsoever. Is there like any hidden items like in the grass somewhere? Like, it would be really funny if there was, but I guess not. Those rooms are locked. Okay, so she's not here. So that's one place marked off. Aha! I found you! Okay, this is where you were. So this is the old robot everyone was talking about. I want to try it! <laughs> It'll need some more fine-tuning before you're able to do that. You do have the option of riding alongside me, however. I'm always willing to take care of cute little ladies like you for a ride. Really? I want to have a race, though. I want to see if Lami's faster than your bike. I don't know what this Lami is, but it takes some guts to challenge me to a race. Aha, <laughs> now I'm really starting to take a liking to you. It didn't take long for those two to hit it off. <laughs> Jellica and George are really good at taking care of others. Oh, hey there, what's up? Truth is, you explained to George that you tried to say asked them to drag Moon back to the dorms. No way, they're still playing. What do I do? If that's how you're gonna play it, then I'm not gonna let you catch me. No, don't run off. Our race is gonna have to wait. Aha, uh -huh, very well. I look forward to seeing you around again. For sure! Catch you later! What up, Milliam? And off she goes. You could have at least pretended to try to catch her, Angelica. Green, sweetie, surely you've realized I always, always side with the lovely ladies. I have to say, though, she's even more peculiar than I've heard. Yeah, I'd really like to see this lamb she was talking about. Tell that she's always welcome here for us, will you? Ah, uh, alright. Okay, let's go search somewhere else. Oh, 
let's try the gym. Are you in here? Ah, there you are. You better not die from up there. Wow, look at all the water. That's gotta be refreshing. I kinda wanna take a dip. <sighs> Finally found you. Oh, hey, Reed. Hey, do you know if I can, can get to take swimming lessons while I'm here? I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Has Treasure given you your school swimsuit yet? Nah, all I got today was my uniform. She told me I'll get it tomorrow. I can't wait, though. I wish I could go swimming right now. I appreciate the zeal, but swing lessons aren't exactly playtime. Haha, <laughs> you guys think too much. Besides, all this cool, all this cool talk really makes me want to go for a swim. Oh, I know. Up, oh, boo. <laughs> she just put on her battle outfit. Ta-da! I can wear this. It's totally waterproof and it dries in no time. Now, it's no problem if I get wet. Please take this over. On your mark, get set, go! Moom, are you okay? Haha, <laughs> that was way too fun. I put in the water's nice and cool. <sighs> she just doesn't care, does she? Well, that came as a surprise. We should go get her. Now we gotta run all the way back downstairs. Huh? Where'd Moom go? She timed her escape perfectly. She was headed back to the girls' locker room, so you probably just missed her. She must have run because she didn't want us to holler back to the dorm. Well, we should look somewhere else. Oh my god. She's probably nowhere nearby now. She probably ran up to some other building. And now I gotta find her again. Are you in here? Yes, you are. I haven't done this in forever! Onward, my sea! Full speed ahead! Get down this instant! That voice couldn't mean anything but trouble. But are you still chasing me? But what in the world are you up to? Hee <laughs> hee, it's been so long since we went horse riding in the north. I thought I'd give it another shot. This is so fun. It's totally different than flying around on Lammy. Will someone please escort her far, far away from the stables? Why did you have to be so stubborn, Uses? You must get that from your dad. I'm not even going to identify that with a response. How would you know what my five process is like to begin with? Wow, I'm gonna even manage to throw uses for a loop there. Well, what's with this girl? Who cares? I'm on the horse now. Time to ride. To the highway. Highway! Horsey! Yeah! Get your hands off the rings. Ah, let's go! Move on, wait. So begins Moon's horseback adventure. She took off without the slightest concern for the worried soul she left behind. After riding around with the increasingly irritated uses, what seemed like an eternity, she finally came to a stop. <sighs> you little. That was the best. We should totally do it again sometime. Um, are you okay? Hmm, <laughs> I'm fine. That girl doesn't have a lick of sense. <laughs> She's got energy to spare, doesn't she? 
Oh, we shall slow down by the time we catch up there. Time to start looking again. Oh my girl, oh my god. Where did you go now? I think this time she actually might have gone to the schoolhouse. I don't know why I keep thinking she's going to the schoolhouse, but I'm pretty sure she went to the schoolhouse this time. Because if she's traveling all over and I don't see anything else on the map, she probably went to some place where I can't see her. Or the game wants me to make a very educated guess. Okay, still not schoolhouse. Alrighty. So, where did you go? Maybe. Aha, you did. Wowee! There's so much cool stuff here! So now, all of a sudden, you have a voice. So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Huh? Oh no! No! Don't mm. don't go there. I went there twice thinking you already went there. Don't go there now and get me into trouble. Oh, but he doesn't get a voice. I should have guessed you'd be here. Hi hey guys! Did you come looking for me? Don't give me that hi you guys. Green's right, you know. We've walked the length and breadth of the grounds looking for you. How about it? Will you come back to the dormitory with us? Sure thing! After the chase you led us on, you're just giving up the easy- Nah, she's about to sneak off. Well, I've seen enough for one day. Tomorrow's a free day, so that's when I can really start exploring. At least she's the type to plan ahead. She sure is a lively girl. Yeah, let's put it like that. Alright, let's get her back to the dorm be before she changes her mind. Sounds good to me. Wowzers, that was so much fun. This town's got a nice feel to it too. I think I'm gonna like it here. Oh, I wonder where I should go tomorrow. Well, I'm glad someone's having fun, but maybe you should spare a thought for the people who've been running all over the school grounds looking for you. Haha, <laughs> you agreed. Oh yeah. We should exchange our service, William. We need to be able to reach you quickly if there's ever an emergency. Sure thing! Uh, my number is... Exchange service, William. Tell everyone else when you get back to the drums, okay? Hmm, of course. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, I should try calling Lecher and Claire later. I bet they'll be surprised. She really does seem like the typical 13-year-old girl for the most part. It's pretty effective cover, though. But think of what happened to that big doll of yours? Huh? You mean Lemmy? It's right here. What? Come on out! Hmm, <laughs> don't come out or you'll... Whoa, what's that? It's like a big silver doll. This is so cool. Is it yours? Awesome. <laughs> you sure is, isn't he? Yeah, I am. Looks like we got our work cut for us taking care of Milliam. If she's going to be living in the academy, I need to find some way to drill some common sense into her. Eventually, we were able to pull the kids away and convince them to go back to their homes. And after forcing Milliam to hide um, again, we made the trip back to the dormitory, sighing all the way. They're so tired. They were like parents. They're just like, they were just like, oh, where's our kid? He's like, lay down. Stop running. Does he live in the dorms now? Welcome back, everyone. Just been making myself at home here. C crow What brings you to our dormitory? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now, so I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. What? Well, that was quick. But man, Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join class seven months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere. 
but it's good to be here. Ooh, looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together. I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. He's like, great. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. I doubt that comes as any real surprise. <laughs> he must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. Hmm. I don't think there's any harm in a warm welcome, at least. We're happy to have you here. <laughs> oh, stop, you're making me blush. But you know what they say, there's no place like Chrome. Oh, and if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Gotta get back in the groove with my Arcus again, after all. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. We can explain the labyrinth beneath the old schoolhouse to She's going to be already there, and we're going to have to look for her in the labyrinth or something. Oh, God. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come, too. Uh, how did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. I wouldn't be surprised if she really did it either. All right, all right, have it your way. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight. All right, they're both level three now. Secret meeting. And that concludes my overview of the next field study schedule. How are things coming along on your end, instructor of Valenstein? Well, I've contacted all the relevant authorities, and I've also considered the group placement over to transfer students. Excellent. Then let me ask you once more. Are you both certain that you're in the favor of going forward with this? <sighs> I do feel like it would be a bit early for them, but I see no reason not to. As students here, they're going to have to face it sooner or later. I'm in full support. Furthermore, I've already secured the Lieutenant General's permission to proceed. Very well then. We will continue as planned. This may be a difficult reality for the students of Class 7 to face, but I can only hope that grappling with it now will help guide them down the right path. Oh god, what are we about to see? Chapter 5, Signs and Omens. Hang out in the dormitory? Stay in the room. Let's hang in the dormitory first. Well, let's, let's see what that's like. Let's, let's, let's go see what other people are doing right now. Let's bother everyone. Let's wake them up from their well-deserved rest. Is there anything like special going on? No, I already bought him a lot for today. Go. He never told us what was in the letter. The reason why I'm not reading it out loud is weird because I've talked so much for this episode that it's just like, I'm about to give my throat a rest. Hmm. 
If you guys want to know what they're talking about, then feel free to like to pause the video. I, I hope I'm not going terribly too fast where you can't just read it as the speed is already. I already know crows in there. Leave him alone. Nobody's in here. So I'm gonna have to go all the way downstairs. Look at this big plushie in here. You ha you have a girly side deep inside of you. Look at that adorable plushie. Jeez, look at all the toys. All the plushies. I wish this dormitory had a rooftop too that I could just go to. And maybe like some scenes would happen on top of there maybe. To the cats, like I will scratch your face off. Alright, then I'll just go back up to my room and head all over to the freaking school. Nope. Oh, oh this is my floor. Okay, I was right. Yes, I know this. Oh, the test of schoolhouse is obviously one of them. And like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to read these layers, then go ahead and just pause the video. You guys can read them. Looks like they've been quite a few today. Toa seemed pretty swung when I saw her, too. Not sure if it is what's keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse, too. I have to free up some time for that. Yeah, because a freaking giant reveal. Giant headless knight just came out of it. I guess we'll just have to see what we turn up next month. I promised to tell Crow and Moon when I was doing so. I'll have to give them a call when I'm ready to head in. Oh, you're leaving early today? Yeah, I was just about to head out. Eehee, <laughs> do take care then. The sky is looking a little ominous today, so I suggest taking an umbrella. You sure? Seems like another boiling summer day to me. Perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last the day. Either way, I pray you have another fruitful day. Aha, uh -huh. thanks Sharon. I'll see you later then. Ooh, special ops uniform, special ops faceplate? What?
What is that that I just saw? Wait, I have all these clothes that I can just use? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is what the face marine. Okay. Arcus covers can be changed by selecting cover in the shopping menu of an Orville factory. Oh, so I have to go there to change it. Okay, what about, then you get like casual clothes or something like that? Customs can be changed by selecting equip. Okay, so now, now I can do it. What does this look like? Oh my god. Ah! Yep, we're keeping this. This is what you're looking at. Uh, looking. <laughs> this is what you're looking at, like for now on. But let's also equip the other peoples. Okay, so I finally unlocked everything. I didn't realize how much extra DLC items I had. Because it was a lot, but let me see what some of these are. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, it's so cute. What about bunny? No! Oh, 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 right, no. No, right. Oh, no, go back. No, we're, we're not. We're, well, he needs to walk around with some dignity. Okay. Finally. We've equipped everybody. Oh my god. I didn't realize how many of them didn't have, like, anything. Oh jeez, we have people to see. I definitely want to do that first before I go to the schoolhouse. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to end the episode right here. In the next one, we're going to go to the schoolhouse. We're going to hang out with everybody and see what happens. And hopefully, my room does not get us in any more trouble and make us... My worst case scenario for me about the schoolhouse is that she gets in there and she just takes off. And, I, and now we have to, like, find her and find the boss at the same time. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, but right. knowing her, it's probable so we're just gonna have to cross your fingers and hope that doesn't happen but until then i'll see you guys all in the next video and if you guys like like this video or this series then please do not hesitate to give it a bit fat like and subscribe to the channel for more bye see you later